The day, of course, is focused on remembering the three boys who lost their lives in the shooting a year ago. News Channel 5 investigator Sarah Butterson looks back at the lives of Danny Parmator, Russell King Jr., and Demetrius Hewlin. 16-year-old Daniel Parmador was the first victim who died after being shot at Chardon High School one year ago today. Dina and Bob Parmador say their son loved computers, snowboarding, playing Xbox, and to joke around. They say he was a joy to be around. Danny was a, a very mm -hmm. funny, outgoing, uh, lovable kid. And I, I'm really just not saying that because I'm his father. Nothing bothered him. He just had fun with his friends and his family, his cousins. It's just, he was just the best son. 17-year-old Russell King Jr. was the second shooting victim to die from his injuries. A junior at Chardon High, classmates say he loved the outdoors, where he would hunt, fish, and go camping. He was described as bright, well-liked, easygoing, and thoughtful. Demesis was an energetic and a... A good young man. During this news conference last year, Phyllis Ferguson said her son was sweet and kind. Known as D, 16 year old Demetrius Hewlin is the third victim who died after the shooting. He was a computer nerd and he liked his video games, but Demetrius was a health nut. His body was a temple. D worked out six days a week and was often found at the gym, but he also took time for others, volunteering for Habitat for Humanity and deciding to be an organ donor at age 13. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5.